Hi, my name's Matt. That's it? Oh, I don't, oh then hi. you say your name. My name's Naomi. Naomi Sneakers and Matt Barham. Hi. Okay, let's do That's that it. again. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, she didn't win it. No, but I've been <laughs> no. nominated. Nominated. Well, don't, you know, you don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be really disappointing. <laughs> It probably <laughs> will be. And then what, I'm the guy who has to deal with it. You know? Really, how am I with disappointment? Pretty good. You yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's just an honor to be mentioned in those with I'm those up names. against Meg Tilly from Big Chill. Meg Tilly. She's Is amazing. that what she's nominated for? No, what that was from the 1970s. It's a late but... nomination. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> very proud. I'm very proud of it. And like, I'm proud of the work on Mr. D and the writers give me funny things to say and then I remember what to say and then I stand in front of the camera and I say those things. Yeah, that's just Works out. boring as hell. <laughs>
Oh, well, prizes. I guess so. I could have. You just said it. Um, there also will be prizes. I think that if you don't want to, if you don't care about comedy and you don't care about all those amazing people that we just named, come for free prizes. Come for a t-shirt. Yeah, come for a t-shirt. And uh, uh, but who's gonna say like, a uh, mug? like tickets are reasonable? They're like twenty-five dollars. No, no, that's reasonable. No, they're they're eighteen dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I negotiated with. Is that okay? Because mm -hmm. I've been I've been selling them for twenty five dollars. I thought twenty five really that I thought that would be high. So I've been you, selling them. What are you doing with the car? other seven dollars? Never mind these. Never mind these. But let's say this. Let's say people like buy a ticket because they want to see Colin, or they'll be like, oh, that's not really good enough reason. Free t t shirt. That's a good reason. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan is uh, the father of Anastasia, and Anastasia is a sperm donor child of Harry, the, the lead of the show. And uh, Jonathan is infertile. He is unable to uh, produce um, um, active sperm. Don't ask me. I don't even know the real ins and outs of it. I should have done the research. I but, think the expression is, he's firing blanks. Okay, that's the scientific term. Yeah. And, um, but he's, uh, I think he's kind of jealous of Harry's coolness and his ability to warm up to Anastasia. Anastasia's at the age where she's rebelling against her parents. Jonathan feels like he's the cooler dad in that Phil Dunphy kind of a way and can warm up to Anastasia, but she really, she's really into to Harry, her, her new dad, her biological father. Um, and so, meanwhile, um, he's married to um, Janet, played by Laura DeCarteret, who is amazing and uh, extremely funny and solid in the show, and was really fun to play off of her, like a real professional actor to play off of uh, a female counterpart, it's where I, I get to actually get to express what myself in a positive is way. Happening. It, it, you know what? There's an opening at the National Day of the World for a new female. <laughs> Maybe Laura's available. You quit? All right. Well, you heard her. <laughs> Let's get her out of here. Well, the National Theatre of the World was started about four more years ago. Sure. Uh, with uh, two of us, as well as Ron Peterson. Um, Ron's gone off to do his own thing now, and now it's Matt and I running it. And basically, we started it because we wanted to do improv that was um, something other than the games that you usually see in improv or um, like just for jokes. So we started doing improv that was has more of a theatrical bent to it. And that became sort of our mandate to merge theater and improv because that's not often done. So we started with a show called Impromptu Splendor that was doing um, improvised plays and different styles of playwrights. And then we did Carnegie Hall, which was a, sort of a variety show and uh, Super fun and sort of set in the style of, um, oh, um, everything's going well. Yeah. Uh, what was the style that you always say it's a... Uh, it's can, can an honors? improvised retrospective in the style of, I guess, the Kennedy Center Honors, uh, where we'll get a suggestion from the audience, a word, and then improvise the greatest improvised scenes of all time as we improvise them. So that's Carnegie Hall, and then we started a uh, show called The Script Tease Project that we're going to be doing at um, the Young Center, of, uh, Young Center for Performing Arts. Yeah, the uh, National Theatre of the World um, is um, has now has a partnership mm -hmm. uh, with the Young Center. We are, are, are a company in residence mm -hmm. there, and the first thing we're going to do is the Script Tease Project, where we ask uh, playwrights to write us two pages, and then before the audience, we open up these. Envelopes. Where are you looking? Too. I've been looking in the camera. Well, that's the whole an time. idiotic choice. What an idiot! <laughs> um, so, scripties project is when we've asked playwrights, and like we've had uh, two seasons. It. We're going to just focus on play this, this the scripties project. Yeah, you're doing this great. <laughs> so, um, you been doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Follow my lead, and you're out. By the way. No. Yeah. Uh, so. We've done this two seasons. This we is our get third. The, we this get is a, our third season. Uh, we get fa famous playwrights to pen the first two pages of a new play, and then we read them cold on stage, and then um, put them down and improvise the rest as though they wrote the whole thing. So we're gonna do nine. Stop we're gonna do nine, <laughs> nine of those, I think, in June. But uh, we're very excited, it's our first chance to um, 
be in this new home in a way at the Young Center. I mean, we've seen a bunch of shows there. At yeah, but Soul that Park. doesn't mean that you're performing there. Mm. Just because, like, that's like saying, "Oh, I saw a show at on Broadway." So basically, I'm a Broadway actress. So I'm not a Broadway actress. No. <laughs> <laughs>